It looks like someone took a samurai sword to this dolphin, but those battle scars aren't from sharks or rival gangs. They're actually a living diary of deep sea squid duels. Stick around because by the end of this video you'll know why Grampus Grizzius, better known as the Risos Dolphin, is one of the most hardcore, misunderstood, and just plain weird members of the Team Cetacea. Hey ocean lovers, I'm Caleb, your friendly neighborhood marine biologist, and this is all things marine life. Today we're diving deep, literally about a thousand feet deep, into the world of Risos Dolphins. If you dig fact pack marine life content, tap like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. Have a favorite dolphin cousin you'd like me to cover? Comment down below and I'll add it to my research dive log. Now grab your imaginary wetsuit because we're heading offshore. Riso's dolphins roam every major ocean except the polar ice baths. From California and the Azores to Japan and New Zealand, anywhere there's a continental slope and a midnight snack of squid, you'll probably find these guys. They grow to be about 3 to 4 meters long, or about the size of a family minivan, and they weigh up to 500 kilograms. But what really sets them apart is their, shall we say, origami crumpled parchment skin. Unlike most dolphins with sleek tuxedos, Risos start life gray and then age into silver samurai, picking up white scratches that can completely bleach their skin. Those marks are mainly from clubbing squid tentacles and social tooth raking, think of it as cetacean autographing. They also lack a pronounced beak, instead they sport a big forehead melon, perfect for echolocation. And here's a weird dental fact. Adults have just two to seven pairs of teeth in the lower jaw, with none on top. For a predator, that's like bringing chopsticks to a steakhouse. Yet they still demolish six to 10% of their body weight in calamari every day. Taxonomically, they sit in the Delphinidae family, the oceanic dolphins, but they're more closely allied with pilot whales than your classic bottlenose. If pilot whales are the chill uncles, Risos are the adrenaline junkie cousins who always show up with new scars and wild stories. Nightfall equals buffet time for these guys. Using bursts of echolocation clicks that scientists recently discovered vary geographically like regional accents, Risos plunge up to 600 to 1,000 feet, and they twist, flip, and sonic blitz the squid until the cephalopods ink themselves in panic. Each tentacle or arm strike leaves white scars packed with serotonin, yep, squid happy juice that reacts with the dolphin skin. Over a lifetime, those marks layer up like pages in a diary. No wonder older males often look like marble statues. Day to day, they chill in pods of 10 to 30, but every so often, Dolphin Comic Con erupts. You might witness megapods of over a thousand tearing through bait balls alongside gray whales. One such superpod amazed Californians just months ago with about 1,500 individuals blitzing sardine schools. That's not a typo, 1,500. They also exhibit what researchers call galloping porpoising, basically flipper on a caffeine bender, hurling themselves out of the water to save energy at speed and sometimes riding bow waves with surfers like they own the lineup. Riso's vocal toolkit ranges from low grunts to ultrasonic buzzes. New 2025 acoustic work in the South Atlantic logged clicks peaking near 13 kilohertz, the first detailed profile for this species. These signature sounds help pods reunite after deep foraging and might even let scientists identify subpopulations, the way we can spot regional dialects in humans. Riso's dolphins subscribe to the quality over quantity plan. Females carry calves for over a year and nurse them until toddlerhood. That long investment means moms typically wait a couple of years before rolling the dice again. Males aren't winning any tender awards, battle scars on their foreheads likely come from headbutting rivals for access to receptive females. Luckily, injuries seldom get serious, and these head bonks are mostly for show. 2024 brought an epigenetic breakthrough. Scientists can now age Riso's dolphins by reading chemical clock marks on tiny skin biopsies, accurate within around three years. That's huge for conservation because tooth aging requires, well, a tooth, and that usually means a dead dolphin. Meanwhile, Scottish citizens logged hundreds of sightings using phone apps, 
revealing new calving hotspots around Orkney and Shetland and pushing for added marine protection. Talk about power to the people. And who could forget about last year's heroic mass refloat in New Zealand, where beachgoers formed a human chain to guide a whole pod back to deep water. Turns out dolphins aren't the only social mammals on the beach. Risos aren't currently endangered, but they face drive fisheries in parts of Asia, accidental capture in drift nets, escalating ocean noise, and industrial contaminants, particularly in the Mediterranean where pollutant loads rival 1980s hairspray levels. More acoustic monitoring and protected corridors could safeguard their deep sea squid drive throughs Here's a couple of rapid fire fun facts about Risos. They're named after Antoine Riso, a 19th century French naturalist who probably never imagined a dolphin fan club on YouTube. They still sometimes perform whitewater head splat breaches where they land chin first. Scientists are still debating if it's communication based or if it's just dolphin parkour. They're the only cetacean known to rest vertically in a group chain like eerie marine totem poles. Their Latin name, Grampus, literally means big hook, an old whaler term for orcas. Confusing much? A pod off of the Azores was filmed tickling a loggerhead turtle. Marine biologist translation, cephalopod buffs discover a living frisbee. So there you have it, Riso's Dolphins. Scarred champions of the Squid Wars, acoustic dialect masters, and surprise cameo artists in Megapods. If you learned something new, smash that like button, it really helps the channel fight the YouTube algorithm kraken. If you have questions, drop them in the comments or tell me which dolphin, whale, or downright bizarre sea creature you want to see next. And remember, the ocean is vast, mysterious, and much like Riso's, covered in stories. Let's keep exploring them together. Until next time, stay curious and keep swimming on forward.